Oh, yeah, have you seen my intro in my latest videos? Okay. You're in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I in did. the intro part. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's That's going to be on every one for a while. I feel very privileged, actually. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Wayne. A friend. Wayne's a friend of mine. He is originally from Medicine Hat. I'm going to get in closer because it's pretty loud here. Anyways, uh, this is actually the very first video I'm doing on my new channel. So I really don't know how to go about this one. Other than I was talking about on my videos, I want to do this channel more on adventures and traveling and day to day things. So Wayne is a good example of that. Wayne has re recently retired and he spent, I don't know how long, you traveled across Canada. Yeah. So for six months at least. So w the transition from moving away from Medicine Hat, right? You're from Medicine Hat. Yeah. So how was the transition to a different lifestyle and a different life of traveling from a normal life? How did you find it? Was it a good decision, bad decision? Well, it was a good decision, but let me tell you yeah. this. I jumped right into it though, right off the bat. I yeah. quit work on May the 1st. Wow. Retired May the 1st. Yeah. Uh, everything was made, started May the 1st. Jumped right in. Yeah. To and I traveled right away. Yeah, nice. And that saying about turning the key and going and living where you yeah. the home is where you make it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'll tell you what, the traveling part was the greatest. Once I settled down in Vancouver, yeah. I miss the moving every day. Actually, really. Miss the getting up in the morning, driving to a new city, yes. videotaping a new place to yeah. stay the night, editing my videos, putting another video, get up the next morning and do the whole thing over again, all the way to the East Coast and all the way back. It's just incredible. You know what? I can relate because I did the same thing when I first moved to the island, back to Vancouver Island after traveling. I spent about a year traveling Canada and I, I got a homesickness in the beginning. It's like I miss going to a different place, exploring a new adventure, a new place, um, always something to learn and a new person to meet. So I, I, I found the same thing and now I'm kind of craving it and that's why I'm trying to plan to do that again. So you spent six months traveling Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I came here to Vancouver yeah. and settled down, I that's when I felt lonely and I have to meet people. Yeah. And that's where I, I met Chuck and awesome. he was the most open, friendly person I've ever met. So that we've been friends ever since. Yeah. Maybe the craziest person. I don't know friendly. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so how was the travels through Canada? You get to see a lot. What, what was the highlights? Um, Let's know that. Actually, believe it or not, some of the highlights were Quebec. People, oh yeah. Pe pe people kept telling me like, wow. French people are, you know, this and that. They're not the greatest. And I, I felt that way too because I did meet a few French people, yeah. and they weren't the greatest. But yet, when I finally went to Quebec and yeah. met the French people, they're not so. They're not as bad as people can make them out to be. Oh, um, that's interesting because I was considering Quebec in April. Uh, maybe Quebec or Montreal. So it's good to get a perspective and, uh, there. The farther you yeah. go east, the yeah. older the, the older Canada is. Because okay. that's where they settled. Yeah, was true. On the east coast and slowly yeah. moved. Vancouver's one of the youngest places. Because yeah, it's, wow. It's on the west coast. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, beautiful country is Prince Edward Island. Just yeah. like here, I I would. It takes you over a year just to discover Prince, and Prince Edward Island is the smallest province you yeah. have. Huh. And it would take you a lifetime just to discover everything on that little island. Beautiful country on that side. Uh, the prairies, you could take it and leave it. They're just flat. <laughs> flat. You travel been to there. the city and you, you just close your eyes until you get there yeah. all the way across. But it, it had some unique aspects too. I would stop at some of the small towns. Yes. And, and there was very old school like like very like I felt like I was back in the 50s or 60s or something very slow pace so it was kind of nice to explore some of those cities too yeah. Yeah, yeah and all you see is like the wheat, wheat fields for miles and miles yeah. of wheat fields and flat yeah. Uh, yeah it does have its own where the highest parts in Canada are the prairie 
Oh? Because that's where it's... You think the mountains are the highest. I didn't... Yeah, I would Wow. But it's but. how Canada was pushed up, and the middle part is what? all the highest. Are you sure? Are you drunk? Hold on. Oh, yeah, he's drunk. He's, uh, no, just kidding. Uh, had a no, that's, that's surprising, actually. I never, never would have thought of that. Yeah. Huh. Uh, sure, the mountain peaks are Makes higher. sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cypress Hills in, uh, in Saskatchewan there and Alberta, there, that's the highest parts in Canada. Uh, my aunt has a cabin there, or had. Very beautiful spot. Yeah, I've been there. I, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the highest spots in Canada. Huh. Ontario takes a long time to get across because it's the yeah. biggest province across. It's not the biggest province, yeah. but it's the longest along the border of Highway 1 to get across. Uh, I have not, I haven't been to Newfoundland, one province I've never been to, it just costs too much money to get across the yeah. ocean for me at uh, that time. Uh, I found, I've never been past uh, the other side of Toronto, I've never been Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec in that area, or actually I went through when I was younger, Thousand Islands, kind of oh, yeah. nice there, yeah. but um, uh, 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 Toronto was, to me, was the yeah. most hustle bustle place. Well, yeah, for it's sure. Nice place to yeah. visit, but five million people is just a little bit it's too much big. for a uh, country boy. Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> hear you. Way too many people. So I went to Niagara Falls right yeah. away. Enjoyed that part of the country. That that would be a nice. That's my other option for April. Is there? Yeah. Um, so at this point in time, you're happier to be here, though, right? Oh yeah, I love Vancouver. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Plus nine, they're going through the polar vertex. It's minus 30s in Winnipeg right now. Yeah, and um, that, I, that was my whole plan was to go across Canada and yeah. winter in BC because it is the mildest province in all Canada, of Canada yeah. as opposed to going to the States and yeah. where it's warm. That's right, yeah. And that's the same reason why I've decided to winter here at this point in time. Eventually, winter somewhere else. So, but at, at or, or, and maybe future wise, summer here in Vancouver Island or this area of BC. Oh, it's beautiful here. In the but, but, anyways, I've been watching my time and I got about 30 seconds. So, uh, anyways, that's Wayne's opinion of alternative lifestyle, living a simple life and travel life. So, definitely the worth nomadic it. Nomadic band man. Nomadic man, man. Look him up. We'll put him in the link. So. <laughs> but yeah, it's been, become a good friend. I've met a lot of people through traveling and adventures like this. And Wayne's been one of them. So anyways, cheers guys. Three seconds, two seconds. Bye.